lucky start from Richards up the outside of the pair of them, catching the two Sierra drivers unaware. And Richards may well take the lead as they go over Bitchapave, and here he is trying to fight back to get the inside. Fantastic start from Jimmy Richards. Jones is now forced out wide and gets the sideways treatment from Johnny Bauer. He moves into second spot. Tony Longhurst makes his way to fourth place, and boy, have we got a race going here today at Amaru Park. Gentlemen Jim and Nissan. Teaming together with a beautiful start, but Bow coming down wants to race with him. Alan Jones runs in third spot. Longhurst back one spot behind them, and as they head down to the lake for the first time, if Richards leaves an opening here on the inside, watch for Johnny Bow. Won this race last year, went on to win Bathurst, and runner up in the touring car title. It is bumper to bumper racing over 50 laps for round one of the Shell Ultra Series, and it'll be Jimmy Richards who leads them across the line for the first time. Unbelievable start for Jim Richards. Wind your memories back 12 months and recall the battle between John Bow and Jim Richards. Richards having spent almost 60 minutes behind the guy in car number 18. He said last night he didn't want to have to do that today, but one would not have expected to make such a blind a start and solve the problem immediately. Well, something. of course, we saw a sensational start thanks to Nissan Sport. Our race camp coverage, this is what the start of the race looked like. Jones on the inside, Bow the outside, side by side. Richards grabs another one, slips straight around the outside of them in the Nissan skyline, heads up Bitcher Pave Hill, over the top, heading down to the right-hander. Also caught the windscreen wipers on the way into the loop, and that's the way Jimmy Richards took the lead. Visor went up, and he was on his way. Here's our long shot as they come up the hill. Look for them now. There's John Bow coming through behind our race leader. Next one is Tony Longhurst. Then Mark Scaife in the second of the Nissans. Jones has dropped back a spot, and Brock now starting to haul in Alan Jones. That's the order as they head up Mitchell Pavin. I think that's where the race for the Miners is certainly developing at this stage. Two seconds now, Richards to Bow. And uh, if you want a new view of the racing, we're going to do that with our thanks, of course, to Nissan Motorsport with their headlight cam. And don't tell me that doesn't give you a dramatic look at the racetrack here at Amaru Park as our race leader, Jimmy Richards, coming in with a group of the slower cars here, some of the BMWs, Peter Doolman in there as well. They leave the inside line open for him. He tucks in as they make their way back onto the start finishing straight. And it looks like uh, through the noise, flag that we may be getting, or Johnny Bauer may be getting a... Uh, he gets the noise flag again. Well, with it, well, it looks like some reps uh, from the State Pollution Control Commission. There's the flag to tell the drivers you're making too much noise, do something about it. So all you can do is Larry Perkins again gets uh, the flag. Car number 35, Glenn Seaton joins us on race cam. Glenn, it hasn't been your weekend so far. Take a bit of the uh, wrong tyre choice today, but um, that's the way it goes, and we're just going to try and keep on the tails of these fellas in front, and um, hopefully their tyres will go off. Do you seem to be making any ground there on Greg Hansford? Well, we make a little bit, but then we get caught up in the traffic, and um, we lose a bit of ground, but uh, we'll soon catch him, just give it time. You had problems on Friday, back one of them into the wall. How much has that put you behind? Well... Uh, the second car was as good as the first car anyway. The car's going well. It's just uh, we've got a few problems at the moment. All right, we'll let you get back to it. A philosophical view from Glenn okay, C. Thanks, Mike. Okay, mate. Here is the 16 car in the uh, pit area. They're looking pretty good, as I understand, in practice on Friday now. Mm -hmm. Friday, the car performed very well. Wynn was very happy with the balance and it would seem as though the car was capable of doing consistent laps, but I wonder what tyre choice they went for prior to the start of the race, because whatever it was, it's wrong. Well, here's a good scrap developing. Peter Brock, Andrew Medecki, and the man coming from position number 13, Queensland's favourite son, Dick Johnson. Brock there with a gigantic lock-up. Was it Brock or Trevor Ashby in the... I thought it was Brock. He locked him up a couple of laps back, and here's Johnson getting very business-like about a run, perhaps down the inside. Is there a gap there? There's enough there for Dick to put the nose in. That really and lands... Rick Hansford, he's gone through as well. That really left Andrew Medecki out to dry there just for a moment or two. So Greg Hansford closes up well and truly behind Dick Johnson. And Johnson, in his path now towards the uh, the race lead or at least one of the top three spots fascinating scrap between these two drivers this is great stuff dunlop tires versus bridgestone tires and you know peter and dick set their cars up differently as dick dives to the inside now and sneaks through that was a good pass jim richards nissan skyline 
running in second spot and closing on him now is John Bow. No need to tell you about the, the time difference. You can see it with your own eyes. Mark Scaife to the pits. Problems for Mark Scaife. But the dice is really back up front where Jimmy Richards, who bolted away to a pretty big lead, now has a, a closing John Bow on his tail. Tasmania Sportsman of the Year, John Bow. Beating the likes of... Oh, oh and that Bow has clamped the tail onto the guardrail. Now, has he done any damage to the left rear? That's the break that Richo needed. We'll take a look at that for you. Watch Jimmy Richards getting out of this turn, coming onto the straight. And John Bang brings the front round, but he, he got it straight very, very quickly. Well, here's Glenn Seaton, who told us uh, earlier that uh, he'd made the, uh, the wrong choice on tyres. So he's in, that really takes care of any uh, thoughts of finishing in the top 10 here today in the opening round. He was in ninth position. Race leader still Jimmy Richards in the Nissan Skyline. John Bow runs second in car number 18. And then Tony Longhurst in car number 25, the Benson and Hedges here. And I think an outstanding performance from Johnson this afternoon. Very much so, you know, starting from that far back on the grid, position 13. You know, it's pretty hard work. And uh, the guys just kept on plotting and just showed that you've got to hang in there. And they've obviously uh, come up with the right settings and tyre compounds on the car to allow him just to nip away at the opposition. He's passed Alan Jones and, of course, his teammate John Bow is doing a terrific job in second, although John's now just fading a little from the back of Jim Richards. A couple of minutes to go for Jimmy Richards. There's Alan Jones running uh, fifth in car number 20 and dropping back through the pack. So the car looks, looks to be going good. pretty slowly. I wonder whether he's got a problem and he just has to get it home. I think he's been gathered in already by uh, Greg Hansford and uh, by Andrew Medecki. So that's bad luck indeed for Jonesy. AJ will soldier on to the finish. In the meantime, though, car number two continues to lead it with time running out. The short straight now to the next right-hander. And you're going to ride home with the winner of the opening round of the Shell Ultra Touring Car Series. It's almost checkered flag time as Jimmy Richards comes up. And Richards beats the Sierras on day number one of the 1990 series at Amaru Park Raceway. And I think a delighted Fred Gibson, the Nissan Motorsport team manager, talking to his uh, driver as we take our Toyota race score to confirm that Jim Richards has won round number one here today at Amaru Park Raceway. John Bow in the Shell Ultra High Racing Sierra takes second. His team boss, Dick Johnson, picks up third place. Fourth goes to Tony Longhurst in the Benson and Hedges Sierra. And rounding out the 5-0-5, Master Peter Brock. Well, what a great start to the series by Nissan's Jim Richards, with a strong top three performances by the Shell team duo of Johnny Bow and Dick Johnson. Well, time now to hop over Bass Strait and join the boys at Simmons Point, where Peter Brock has locked up pole, clear of Longhurst, Johnson, Seaton, Jones and Bow. And while the Nissan dominated on the tight and twisting Amaru layout, it will do it a little tougher at the Plains, where sheer horsepower means absolutely everything. Racing, Brock off to a good one this time. Longhurst buried it on the starting line, and Johnson grabs a gear. And Johnson up now on the inside is really going to make life interesting for Tony Longhurst when they head down to the first corner. Brilliant start by John Bauer. And just look at Alan Jones muscling his way into the action. Also a good start there from Jimmy Richards. Brock into the hairpin. Gets out of there with Johnson in second place and right behind him is Tony Longhurst. They're all through turn number one, the hairpin, without a problem. Alan Jones again for the second race running has lit that car up and absolutely smoked it. He sat there going nowhere as we watched this scrap between Longhurst and Dick Johnson. Peter Brock the leader. And problems back in the pack. I think it could be Alan Jones.